Okay, just a um, bit of an update. Um, I'm moving to a 3 kVA generator and um, I'm going to drive it with the electric motor, 240 volt motor, so I can get some accurate readings of where we're actually saving power. Um, so I can just hook my watt meter straight into that motor and we can see exactly what's going on with everything we do. As with the old setup, it's really hard to get accurate measurements to see if we're actually making improvements. So I had a donut generator out the back, 3 kVA one, and um, just machined up a shaft to carry the other end of the rotor. Um, and that bit there is actually the crankcase of the uh, engine. So um, I actually had to cut the counterweight off one side of the crank to get enough length here to put our drive coupling on. So that took a bit of mucking around. Now the problem we're going to have with this setup is that it's a 1440 RPM motor and this is a, as you can see, a two pole generator. Now, with this setup in here, it has these two little windings, one each side, which are for the cap, I'm assuming, the exciter windings, I'm going to call them. Um, and in the rotor, we have a permanent magnet each side. So that would build up a um, current within these um, exciter windings and uh, that in turn would build up the magnetic field within these windings on each side of the rotor which will then get our 240 volts through these big windings each side. So I've got two poles on the generator and two poles on the rotor at 1440 RPM we're only going to have about 47 hertz instead of the 50 which is what that motor is, 50 hertz so if it comes to a stage where we're going to dump this power back into the motor if we put 47 hertz in there that's going to slow the motor down when the motor slows down the hertz from the generator are going to drop even further and we're going to have a cascade effect which will lead to a complete stop but I'm going to set it up like this anyway, just so we can start getting this generator to perform as best it can and we can see uh, where we're actually making improvements, gaining uh, more out than we have to put into the motor. Um, and then we're well on our way to actually seeing if we can make this a self-loop system. When it comes to that, I'll have to um, do something about lifting the speed up on the generator. I do have two of these old air conditioner motors, which have a um, pulley you can vary the size on simply by winding the nut up and down. It opens and closes the pulley. So if we have one on the motor and one on the generator, we can adjust the speed of the generator. So, but that's later on, that's what I'm doing now, just getting this set up, so um, I'll uh, whack up another video when we've got this one up and running. Cheers from the Tin Man.